A very welcome to you. We are here with 7th of July's Goli Basing. A pure mind, a pure intellect is the only one which can actually imbibe the real knowledge which God is giving us. And that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to compare the intellect, pure intellect with a holy swan. So God in his own word says, May you be a constantly clean holy swan whose intellect takes the food of pure thoughts. A swan is always taking in pure food. A swan is also said to differentiate between stone and pearls. So a swan is always shown below Saraswati Mata. So Saraswati Mata is a symbolism of wisdom. Not just Vidya but wisdom. And here also we are learning that wisdom can only come into a mind when our intellect is pure. Let's explore this purity. What does it mean and what does it entail? Holy swans do not take anything into their intellects except pearls of knowledge. Brahmin souls who are the elevated top-knots, Brahmin souls, that's why they are shown with that choti or bodhi, who are the elevated top-knots can never take anything that is below them. That means they, their intellects or their way of thinking is very pure, is beyond worldly why's and who's and who and why nots. God then says, below they cannot take anything that is below them. Holy swans means constantly clean, constantly pure. Purity is cleanliness of the mind first. If the mind is clean, everything around us will be clean automatically. If you go to somebody's house and you see that the house is not so clean, not so kept properly, that means something is going on in the mind and something is troubling them in the mind and mind is not clean. Holy swans can never have impure thoughts. Holy swans who always eat the food of pure thoughts remain constantly healthy. If somebody is mentally healthy, they'll become physically healthy. If somebody's got ego, jealousy, hatred within, automatically that's going to affect them outside also. They cannot be influenced by anyone. Even if somebody tells something, even if somebody shows ego, jealousy, greed, anger, something, they cannot be affected by it because they'll always move with courage. They'll always move with a lot of fearlessness because they don't have anything impure towards anybody and that's the power of fearlessness. Om Shanti with this.